From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. Anytime a team goes on the road, there's always that little bit of fear that maybe they could be affected by the hometown crowd. But this is where game planning really came into play. They talked about it all week. Go in there, establish yourselves. Well, that run right there, that slows down the crowd and gives them a lot of confidence. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. From the 41, here's a second down at six. Now a give to Jacobs running right. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give them a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 39. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 33, here's a second down and four. Love. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game, like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Two yards to go, second down. Love now. Got Dobbs over the middle. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. No score after one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. To throw now, here's Love. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. A line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. Now Love. That's hauled in by Musgrave for the Packer touchdown. 
A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Packers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bit just to get the football. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Uh, first run now for Kyron Williams. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Now Stafford. That's caught, Puka Nakua. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Here's Stafford. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. The game clock setting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. Back to throw, Stafford. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 29. So now Stafford and the Rams, after the sack, they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Sure, they got him again. Kenny Clark, two plays in a row now that he has gotten in there for the sack, and it brings up fourth down. Now, that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So, on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Jaden Reed is deep for Green Bay. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. 
And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. And that to the sideline and incomplete. Boy, they're going to say there's a receiver in the area. That was close to grounding, but it's second down. Play action this time with Love. Musgraves got it out right. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big-time arm strength. Very nice route. On the out route, Dobbs brings it in. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. A couple of first downs have them to the 40 now on first and 10. Again, it's Love. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. One of the fastest risers in the draft process last year. Every time you watch him on tape, he liked it more and more. Explosive interior quickness, has a physical presence, and loves to play the game. Here's Love. Throw caught by Musgrave. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Back deep for the Rams is 2-2 Atwell. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trail by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline if they drive it right down the field coming out of the half. Stafford now to throw. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. Now it's Stafford. 
Open man is Atwell, complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Here is third down and four. Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now second and seven from the 23. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. Switching things up, they'll throw it now with Jordan Love. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that can spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. Throwing on second and long. Love, he'll complete this one to Watson. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Throwing. Love. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Back to the running game with Jacobs shoves him away oh and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30 yard line another strong gain on the last two plays they've moved it a combined 33 yards as I take a look at the clock I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already 
Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Love, they go play action now. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll leave him with a third and two. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The football comes out. Jacobs lost it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Stafford now to throw. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So now Stafford and the Rams. Down 7-0, a minute 50 to play. The late fumble gives him unexpected new life as they come up first down. Stafford. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Here comes second down at five. Now it's Stafford. And that's caught by Williams. Just too many short underneath throws. They've got to get the ball downfield. And in a hurry. Well, just a gigantic play here. Both sides. This is third and inches. Now Stafford. That is caught. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. He'll look to throw. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Here's second and a yard. He's back to throw. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Here's first down. They'll look to throw. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. And he is across and in for the score. 
And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. They're going to try and run for it. And he's going to get in for the two points. It was an incredibly gutsy call, but they've taken the lead by a point late in the game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee, and they'll start things out at the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Charles, you got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember, last drive they coughed it up, then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Here's Love. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. This is first and ten. Love. This for all the marbles. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot but couldn't get it done, and they suffer the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Southern California.